A big thing that people wonder, well, what does Christy Code Red eat in a day? It's not fancy. You're not gonna be that impressed with it. You're really not. But let's talk about it, because it's really, really simple. First of all, I don't cook. All right, I'm married to Chef Miles. He loves to bake and cook, and I just don't care. Food is fuel to me. Food is not anything that's fun to eat. It's more of a nuisance for me than anything. So let's talk about what I do. When I wake up in the morning, I have some coffee. All right, I've got a cup of coffee right here and I don't metabolize dairy very well. So I, I started using a non-dairy creamer that is a coconut cream base. They make a lot of different kinds out there. I'm trying out this one, I like it, uh, and that's so much better for me, but a lot of Code Red Rebels do heavy cream or whipping cream, and that's totally fine if you want some of that. I just, I'm like the 50 plus percent of Americans that just can't break down dairy. It gives me a stomach ache, so I stick with non-dairy products. We do meal one, meal two on Code Red, and um, meal one can be whenever I get hungry, whenever my body tells me I need, I need to eat something, and then, I don't know, a lot of people ask me, well, what time do you eat? Every day is different. I just listen to my body. I eat when I'm hungry, and I stop eating when I'm full, but you're going to notice eggs. I love eggs. I like eggs that are hard boiled. I like them scrambled. I like them fried. I like egg whites. I like lots of different form of eggs, uh, so you're going to see me eating eggs. I eat a lot of frozen broccoli. Frozen broccoli is my favorite. Um, I'm a big fan of buying it frozen because it's a lot more affordable and it keeps for a lot longer and it's more nutritionally dense because from the manufacturer, when they harvest the plants, they're going to flash freeze it, which freezes the nutrients right inside. I love frozen veggies. So you're going to see that. These are steam in the bag ones and you pop it in the microwave, five minutes, steams in the bag. I mean, geez, that's easy, and I love easy. Albacore, I love albacore. Uh, again, easy, that's kind of the name of the game here. I open it up, I drain the water out, I always get it in water, I don't ever, ever get it in oil, because anytime there it's packed in oil, uh, it's a low-grade oil and highly inflammatory. Stay away from those. Get it in water, squeeze it in the sink, pop it in a bowl, and I'm gonna mix it with a good quality mayonnaise. You can get any mayonnaise you want, uh, but because I eat a lot of mayonnaise, I want a good clean source. So I like the one from Primal Kitchen here uh, that Mark Sisson's company, and uh, it's a good clean source. And it's, I'm not getting those highly inflammatory vegetable oils. I don't want those in me. And again, you don't have to get the high quality brands. It's only the items that you eat a lot of, in my opinion, that you wanna make sure that you're getting a good clean source. I eat a lot of salmon and here in this, and I won't open it up because I don't want to make everybody in the room sick <laughs> with the smell of salmon, but uh, here's some leftover salmon. And a lot of times Miles will buy a big filet and he will grill it the night before for dinner. And because I don't eat dinner, um, he'll eat his portion and then I'll put the rest of it that's leftover in a um, container. And the next day I'll eat it for meal one, meal two, whatever I feel like doing. So there's always salmon. We do salmon probably three times a week. Meat. Of course, I love meat. Normally I eat a steak every day. Um, I get all my meat from ButcherBox. You can too at a discount. If you go to coderedlifestyle.com forward slash ButcherBox and uh, pick up some meat from them. They're grass fed, grass finished. It's a good company delivered to your door. And because you don't have to actually go to the grocery store and mess around with the meat section, it ends up being cheaper than going to the grocery store. If you enter the code, code red, you're gonna get a discount. I like steak a lot. The ribeye steak is my favorite. I also love ground beef. And great thing about ground beef is I ground it up, I use taco seasoning, and I eat half of it, save half for later. And I'm a big fan of tri-tip. If I can get Miles to cook this for me, I'm good to go. So not a really big, a uh, lot of variety of things here. Um, I drink a lot of water, so I'm always putting electrolytes back in my water. I love the Redmond Relight powder. I love the Ultima. Uh, I'm just a super simple eater. I don't need recipes. I don't need fancy stuff. I don't need, I mean, really, truth be told, I should be slowing down. I eat too fast. I eat in like 37 seconds. Sometimes I'm just leaning over the sink, eating it like this. That's not good for you. I don't want you to do that. I want you to take your time, enjoy your food, appreciate your food, get yourself in a parasympathetic state, relax, breathe, chew your food. Make sure that you're relaxed while you're eating it. I am not, I'm working on it, I'm not yet. So I'm eating two meals a day, 
single ingredient foods, okay? Uh, I clean up the kitchen and then I close the kitchen. I do not eat outside of my eating window. I eat my two meals. I eat a high fat, high protein diet so I'm not hungry and then I'm done. I don't come back into the kitchen and graze on crap I don't need to be eating and neither do you. So keep that in mind. I also drink a lot of water and that helps tremendously. That's the second biggest rule in Code, in code Red in, in health, good health and weight loss is making sure you're very well hydrated. So keep your diet simple, two meals a day. When you are finished, clean up and then don't go back into the kitchen. Kitchen is closed. It might be so strange for you to hear that we only eat two meals a day, but in the 10 pound takedown challenge, we teach you how to transition from the standard American diet of three meals and two snacks down to two meals a day. That's a part of the 10 pound takedown challenge. I highly suggest you get in the next challenge. We have them every month and I'll see you on that challenge. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and better yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you're notified when I release a new video. I wanna hear from you. What do you see on this counter that looks familiar to you? Do you eat similar to me? What do you eat in a day? I'd love to hear, comment below and I'll see you on the next video.